All right, this is literally one of the dumbest life hacks I've ever seen. It's what is up? It's your boy Krish Poya, aka King Krish. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some life hacks. Some of these life hacks are the dumbest things you've ever seen, and some of them are the most useful things you've ever seen. Trust me, guys, you'll get both ends of the spectrum in today's video, but the dumb ones are actually pretty funny to look at, so you guys are gonna enjoy it anyway. So, with that being said, let's hop right into it. So, let's say you're sitting in class and you are trying to draw a circle and you just can't draw a perfect circle. Trust me, I have this problem all the time. I can't draw perfect circles at all. You don't have have a compass you could actually make one just using some pencils and a scissor basically tape the pencil around the scissor and then use one of the scissor blades as like the pivot point voila you got your own compass for this next high fact let's say you have a bottle that you're trying to open and you just can't seem to get it open you could actually grab one of these scissors and some of these have like these blades on the opposite side of the scissors and you could actually use that to open bottles i think it's like an oil bottle some sort of oil i mean she's putting it on pizza i don't know guys if i am trying to open a bottle i sometimes use like a towel or my shirt and that also works pretty well so for this next life hack let's say you don't have a screwdriver lying around you could actually just use scissors and voila you could actually use it as a screwdriver so let's say you don't have any nail cutters lying around and you're trying to cut nails you could actually use scissors and if you hold it like this specific way kind of like the opposite way using your pinky i think she used the pinky no she used the thumb and the pointer finger i'm pretty sure and then hold it in that position and you got your own nail cutter i'm not sure how clean that will end up you guys are gonna have to try it yourself and see so let's say you have dull scissors which aren't quite cutting through the paper you could actually just grab a steel sponge and then try putting the scissors on the steel sponge and then sharpen it and voila you're once again able to cut the paper now one downside of this i'm not sure if the steel sponge will actually cut and i'm pretty sure if you have a steel sponge you don't want steel sponge pieces all over the place i mean granted the scissor is dull but if you're sharpening it using the sponge it's gonna get sharper and then it's gonna end up cutting the sponge and you know that won't be good so i guess you can't sharpen it way too much so this is actually a bit of a dumb life hack in my opinion let's say you're trying to fall asleep in a car and you don't have anything to quite lean on you can just take a towel or something and then tie it around like the back seat and voila you kind of have like a headrest i mean your head is in one position and if the car's turning you're not going to be turning way too much i mean one downside of this is that it looks like you're being kidnapped i mean there's going to be people outside the car looking into your car and be like what the heck is happening and it's going to look pretty suspicious especially if a cop car pulls up all right this is literally one of the dumbest life hacks i've ever seen but trust me we all do this let's say you spill some cereal instead of cleaning it up she kick it under the fridge like she's doing i mean holy crap guys if we ever have to move our fridge i can't even imagine what's underneath mine <laughs> all right this one's actually so dumb that it's hilarious let's say your friend's trying to eat, steal your popcorn at the movies you could actually take your hoodie that you're wearing and then flip it to the opposite side and use like the hoodie part of it to then pour popcorn into it and voila your friend can no longer steal popcorn from you and look she doesn't even have to use her hands to eat it she's just going like I mean, I don't want to know how dirty this hood is. It's a little disgusting, not gonna lie. Considering the hood, you know, might have been inside your hair and stuff like that. So this one's actually pretty dumb and hilarious as well. Let's say you're just chilling and you have a drink on like a table countertop. You don't want to reach too far every time you grab it. You could actually just use a roll of duct tape wrap it around like an armrest just once and voila you have your own drink holder i mean she also has a popcorn thing going right there all right this one is so freaking dumb guys just doesn't want to take a shower so she just she just poured soda all over her now there's soda all over the ground and she just uses her other t-shirt to then wipe the soda this is literally so disgusting please don't do this i don't even know how this is considered a life hack let's check this next one out so she has a t-shirt okay i think she's trying to iron it okay so it's all wrinkly and stuff like that so she's spraying water on it and then she grabbed a fan right over here she just drying the t-shirt and apparently it straightens it I don't know if that looks straight. I'm not sure if they faked it or not. I mean, honestly, I feel like this is more work than ironing it. Like, ironing a t-shirt doesn't really take that long, in my opinion. All right, please don't be doing this next life hack, especially if you're trying to fake flat. I guess this girl can't afford a Nike t-shirt, so she's gonna print a Nike logo onto the t-shirt. She got plastic wrap, got like the Nike logo sticker, put another layer of plastic wrap, and then wax paper, 
and then she's just gonna heat up the Nike logo and then put it on the white t-shirt and then she's got a Nike t-shirt I guess like what thing is it cool but I guess if you have some like super cool unique design that you want to print out from your computer and then you know have it imprinted on a t-shirt I guess this is a cool concept to employ so let's say your friend is coughing way too much with all the stuff going on in the world right now I guess this is a pretty relevant situation you want to protect yourself you can just take a towel paper towel and then fold it like this and then put a rubber band on one side staple it and then do the same for the other side and you kind of have your own mini face mask before we move on any further today's post notification shout goes to this person on the screen if you guys do want to win yourself a shout out all you have to do is subscribe to the channel turn on this post notification drop a thumbs up on this video and then also go follow me on instagram at chris Oh yeah, I'm literally five followers away from 2,000 followers. So if you guys are watching this, make sure you guys go drop a follow. I'm super duper close. Anyways, continuing on with these life hacks. Let's say the electricity is out and you don't want to use a giant lamp just to, you know, shine it upward because the light isn't getting dispersed properly. You could just put a water bottle on it and then use just a plastic bag and voila, you kind of have like a mini lamp and the light is much more dispersed. So let's say it's way too cold outside. You could just put diapers inside your shoes and apparently you will keep your feet warm. I don't know if diapers are that well of an insulator, but if you guys have some diapers lying around, you guys could, you know, check it out and see if it works. So this next life hack, let's say you have a bruise on your arm or something. You could just take a diaper, pour some water on it, and then freeze the diaper and it turns into a mini ice pack. If you don't have an ice pack or anything lying around, voila, her bruise is now completely gone. I don't, I don't think bruises disappear that well, but hey, I guess the ice pack concept is pretty cool. So let's say you're trying to shovel snow and the snow keeps sticking onto your shovel and it's not getting enough snow It's not efficient or anything. You could actually just use cooking spray on your shovel and this will prevent the snow from sticking onto the shovel Voila, you could finally clean your driveway Yay! Okay, so this isn't exactly a life hack. It's more of like a cool phenomenon that happens if it's super cold outside You could actually just blow bubbles onto snow and the bubble will actually freeze now it has to be super duper cold for this to happen so you have to be living where it's somewhere super cold so if you don't have a fire extinguisher apparently you could use coca-cola to put fire out i didn't actually know this i mean i guess this could be useful in a scenario you have coke lying around but you don't have a fire extinguisher and apparently coke could also be used to polish i think it has to do something with the acid like the acidity the acidity the ph level in the coke basically Okay, so this one's actually super useful if you have chewing gum on something I mean this girl has it on a piece of hair don't know how that happens But coke could actually be used to remove chewing gum pretty sure this will also work on like clothing and stuff So if you have a piece of gum that's attached to your clothing you just pour some coke on it and it will come clean off So coke could apparently be used to get rid of rust as well I mean who knew so many life hacks could be done with coke I mean this person has like a super rusted toolbar and voila all the rust is gone if I'm correct Correct. Rust is caused by water and this person is now cleaning the toolbar with water So I don't know she basically just got rid of the rust and now she's causing rust again I mean, I'm no scientist, but I think that's how it works Okay, so this isn't exactly a life hack, but I think it's pretty cool using zip ties instead of shoelaces I mean, I think it looks pretty good on like light blue shoes or like super light colored shoes like these ones I think it looks pretty cool like that looks pretty clean. I mean, you can't deny that. So this next life hack, let's say you're trying to clean the inside of a bottle and you can't quite get inside. You could just twist wires and put brushes through the wires, then attach those wires to a drill and turn it into like one of these twirly brushes and then be used to clean the inside of a bottle. I mean, this does take quite a bit of work, but if you want to thoroughly clean the inside of a bottle, I guess you could just do this. I mean, what I do usually is just pour water inside the bottle, close the bottle and then shake it up super hard. And that should, you know, clean majority of the inside. So let's say you have a Pringles can right over here. This is actually a pretty dumb life hack. Just a warning. You could actually take, you know, a Coke can, put a magnet inside, and then take a bottle cap and put a magnet inside that as well and put the coke can inside of this and then you can just use a magnet to lift the pringles up now this actually takes way more work it's not actually making anything useful in my opinion all right this one's one of the most dumb things i've ever seen but it's pretty hilarious so this girl is getting ready to go somewhere and she's got her whole outfit on including the shoes but then she forgot something and she has carpet she doesn't want to get the carpet dirty so she's tying bags around the shoes 
instead of taking it off and voila she just got whatever she needed i mean i think this requires more work i mean you could just take your shoes off and i think that would have been much easier all right this next life hack is pretty cool it's pretty simple i don't think it's that useful instead of putting a straw through that you could just twist the coke can pin and then put the straw through the pinhole and it keeps the straw from like twirling around everywhere so this next life hack let's say you have earphones which don't actually fit in your ear that well you could actually put it over your ear and they'll like lock it in place i don't know why but earphones literally do not fit in my ear <laughs> that's why i have these pretty crappy headphones so let's say you're trying to mix something i mean in this scenario let's say you have like sugar inside a cup instead of just twirling it like this that's what most people do apparently it's more efficient if you mix it like back and forth like like this because if you're twirling it all the sugar is just going in one direction in circles but if you're doing this all the sugar is going back and forth and i think that actually makes it better to mix next one's a pretty popular one instead of cutting strawberries like this where majority of the strawberry is gone to waste you could actually just get a straw and pick the stem out like that and majority of strawberry is still edible so this next life hack is pretty useful let's say you're trying to eat a burger and then like the back of the burger keeps falling out you could actually just hold it using two fingers at the bottom basically your thumb and your pinky go in the bottom holding it and supporting the burger like this so the stuff inside the burger doesn't actually fall out anyways that brings us to the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another banger have a great rest of your day guys and peace the freak out.